right, hearings on internet censorship are about to take place on Capitol Hill. And what seemed like perfect timing for such an event, a report just last night uh, dropped alleging that Google manually manipulated special search engine results, effectively blacklisting certain websites. So let's turn now to investigative journalist, friend of the show, Ben Swan, uh, to talk a little more about this. Uh, ben, this is, you know, right in your wheelhouse. Yeah. Uh, let's, so let's jump right in. Yep. What evidence does, does this report have that points to, to Google blacklisting uh, people, websites, employees? What do you sure. Have? So this was a, a memo that was leaked to the Daily Caller, and essentially the memo itself breaks down um, the the plan and the policies that Google has been using. Essentially, it says this. It's two official policies. One is called the misrepresentation policy. The other is called the good neighbor policy. And the two policies basically inform the company's what they call the XPA News mm -hmm. blacklist. Essentially, the trust and safety team at Google was the one who would oversee this blacklist, and they would work to ensure that certain sites many of them conservative sites, uh, would not be allowed to show up in the search results when someone would search. So if you were searching for information about a particular subject, it won't show up in the search results. It will also not show up in the news, the top of the news section or the top of the video section. But it would still show up somewhere in those list of 10 kind of blue choices that you have. Right. It shows up somewhere in there. So it's, it was kind of hidden in a way where um, you essentially would still be able to find it if you were specifically searching right. for that specific material know what you're looking for. That's right. But if you are generally searching for information, you won't find it because it won't show up in news and it won't show up because of the search bar. So is this something similar to what uh, Facebook was was being called out for, for kind of suppressing results or, or, or not results, but things that show up in your news feed? So it's similar to that. Obviously, Google and Facebook are a little bit different in how they're set up. So with the Facebook news feed, um, the information that you get in your news feed, uh, the algorithm would kind of censor out some of these. Right. In this case, this is a specific blacklist um, that apparently does have a manual component. Now, Google says it does not. Right. They say they do not do this. Sundar Pichai was just on Capitol Hill That's in right. December saying we don't manipulate Absolutely anything. Absolutely not, he said. So, and he right. said they do not manually manipulate any of it. How However, there is a manual component to this uh, where sites can be can be blacklisted. And look, when you go down the list of, of who's on this list, you know, including like the American Spectator, the Gateway Pundit, yeah. a lot of these conservative sites um, that are being being removed from it. But but common sense tells us that's happening. We don't need the memo to know this because for for months now, uh, maybe over a year now, conservatives have known if you go and just type into Google and search for these, what actually comes up. And there's been some very unscientific just tests run of this yeah. to see what how many of these show up. And, and really, it's only Fox News that comes up on the conservative side. A lot of these smaller um, conservatives or independents, not just conservatives. So people use that term conservative right. a lot because it, it it kind of educates the answer. But in, in fact, that's not the case. It's independent news sites are the ones that have been removed from these search engines. So let's let's talk about timing. What mm -hmm. about the timing, given that Capitol Hill uh, is having a hearing on censorship? Uh, do you, what is it? What do you have to say about the timing that having them drop this yesterday? So it's interesting they dropped it yesterday, but also the fact that Google was just disinvited from this hearing. So the hearing, <laughs> uh, which happens today, yesterday, uh, Senator Ted Cruz, who chairs that hearing, actually disinvited Google because Google only offered up a what what essentially the committee called a lower level person um, to come and speak to the committee, not a high level high level employee. Interestingly, the employee that was was taken away was Max uh, Pappas. He actually worked for Senator Cruz's campaign mm. and worked as an aide for Senator Cruz for some time. He's now working for Google overseeing conservative outreach. So he was supposed <laughs> to come and, and testify about this. Well, but not that was him. yeah before this happened. And now what's happened is essentially Google has, has been disinvited from this hearing and Senator Cruz says they'll hold a separate hearing exclusively for Google, but of course now all this stuff would have to be part of that hearing as well. Okay, now before I let you go, yeah. we already have talked about the UK having kind of censorship laws mm -hmm. on their internet. They don't have freedom of speech like we have here. Um, do you think this is kind of a slow creep happening here in the US and we're going to eventually, because Google essentially is the internet, right. are we going to essentially see censorship. I think we're going to see we're going to see something happen where government has to intervene and create laws that that control what's being censored and how it's being censored. Uh, and as much as a free market guy as I am and I don't like that and people will say, you know, they, these are private businesses, they can do what they want. Yeah. I think this is no longer an issue of what private businesses are doing. It's now becoming about the rights of the consumer. So the rights of the yeah. consumer, um, what does that look like in terms of being able to search information and having someone else decide what you can and cannot right. see? 
see. I think that's what the law will actually become about. It'll become more like a net neutrality, um, a type of, of law that essentially says you, you cannot um, restrict one set of views or one world, you know, set of, of worldviews sure. for another. And so I think that's eventually what's going to have to happen. I think that's what we'll actually see. Yeah, it's going to be a while, as we know, for Capitol Hill to catch up uh, with technology. <laughs> so, all right, my friend, thank you so much for sharing your insights with us today. Ben Swan. Thanks. Hey, YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.